Assalamu alaikum. Invite endless blessings into your home. Please subscribe now. The button below. Auzu billahi min shaitan bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. With all this understanding of light and all this understanding of realities, the immense importance in days of difficulty and the reality of holy maqams. That when we're teaching all this reality about light, imagine that these locations and this is in Surat Al-Kahf. When Allah describes the whole event of what happened and how they slept and what lights they achieved, then the people found out about that reality and what Allah describes when they were debating, what should we do now? That these people had this immense miracle in this location and Allah said, build over them a masjid, <laughs> yeah. build over them a masjid. Why? Because it's a ni'mat for humanity. These places in which Allah has servants that struggled, purified themselves and reached immense lights. The mere entering or even more powerful the intention to visit that location will begin to dress you and bless you. The minute you step into that location every type of sayyat and bad character will begin to be washed away. The world of light these are like immense suns. Wherever you are in Pakistan and other parts of the world where these big awliyaullah maqams are their souls are like sunshine. As soon as you walk into that every type of difficulty is being washed away and every type of ni'mat is being deposited upon the soul. These are the big waliyun murshidun. Do you think they leave you? That when you came to visit them they're more alive than when they were physically alive. More alive, they're sitting right there. You come, you make your du'as, you sit make your tafakkur, you give something for the food to feed the people, to make that shaykh happy. And as soon as you connect your heart and ask to be dressed by these lights, blessed by these lights, every type of difficulty taken away. Every type of light of the light of the love of Sayyidina Muhammad deposited upon the soul. And that you ask them that, don't leave my company. If I have to leave here physically, keep my arwa always to be present with you. And what was the reality of paradise? Anytime you go to paradise, you can never leave, right? If the circle of zikr is paradise, imagine the soul of the shaykh. It's a paradise. When you enter into that paradise your arwa never leaves. There's a portion of your light that's always sitting with that shaykh being dressed by that blessing and every ni'mah coming from Allah to his soul, he dresses to you. He's not waiting for anything, he doesn't need to keep it for anything, it's not a bank account. But whatever Allah dresses to him, he's dressing upon anyone who comes to visit and connect their heart even better, do a good deed even more powerful. And anywhere in the world these maqams. So they have immense blessings in days of difficulty. How powerful are they and why shaitan wants them destroyed around the world? Why? Because it's a piece of paradise. He knows that if one person sits and reaches their reality they have the power of a thousand people. He has no interest in them reaching their reality. He wants to go around the world and destroy these with that crazy madhab and they make houses that are all white with nothing inside of them. And those are insane asylums, those are not masjids of Allah Those people whatever they build Allah described in Surah Munafiq that their kalima and their shahada is only meant to divert men from the way of Allah And don't pray in their home because their house is a house of hypocrisy. And that's the only goal that shaitan has. Allah inshaAllah show more and more of what these devils really are 
and enlighten us with the love of Sayyidina Muhammad where Allah order for us, run from what they worship. What does that mean? You think they're worshipping Allah? Allah is reminding for us, run from what they worship. If the Dajjal come and talk to you about Allah, you know it's Jahannam. And if he talk to you about Jahannam, he's talking about Allah's paradise. So then Allah's warning for us, run from what they worship into where? To the presence of Sayyidina Muhammad Subhana rabbika rabbal izzat amma yasifoon wa salaamun al mursaleen wa alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen. Bi hurmati Muhammad al-Mustafa ma basira Surat al-Fatiha. Click the link now to subscribe.